Okay, I wanted to go ahead and finalize the fact that the hardware is working by showing you the working setup and showing you a homing procedure. Right here, we have our thermistor for our uh, hot end. Okay, over here, we have our hot end plugged in. Um, something I didn't show you is that I lengthened these, I lengthened the wires that uh, come with these stepper motors because they're not quite long enough and they varied in length. So what I did was I, I made my first, I indexed at this purple or the blue. This is my first wire in my coil on the end was blue. So that way I can tell which way I need to plug these in and I've also plugged in the end stop triggers now the way the end stop triggers work is they have a sense wire they have a positive and negative and basically what they're they're pulled down to uh, ground in my setup and when you trip them they're pulled up high so what that means is Whenever you trip the sensor, you're going to get a high or a low. And when it's actually the depressed, you're going to get a high. And when it's unpressed, you are going to get a low. So that's how that works. Um, the way the package that I got these in, they were already soldered up nicely. However, I'm going to have to make some adjustments to the costal pieces to make it fit on the end stop holder that they have available or I would have to redesign the part which I could easily do but we're trying to get this thing built so let's go ahead and get started I'll show you what happens in a normal homing sequence okay what we have here is this is the X motor this is the Y motor and this is the Z motor and the way that the homing procedure on the delta works is it will go from its position that it's in until it trips one of the end stops it will then go and it will um, bring the X all the way up to the top for a second bump for two bumps then it'll bring the Y up to the top for two bumps and then the Z up to the top for two bumps this is so that it moves quickly up to the top however it moves gingerly whenever it, it, it uh, homes so that you don't jostle your end stops around. So I've got pronger face up. I'm just going to hit home and then I'm going to trip these in the correct sequence so that we know that we're set up right. Basically what you want to do this for is so that you can make sure that your motors are all spinning the right direction, that your end stops stop when you're, they're supposed to, and that the behavior is basically as expected although when you get your printer put together you might find out you are completely wrong at least you'll be consistent in how you are wrong so I'm gonna go ahead and hit home and they're gonna start moving and I'm gonna make a bunch of clicks and then I'll explain it again okay alright okay well it it did it before I got a chance to click all of the uh, end stops. Basically, it's got built in parameters that uh, set the bounds. And if you move outside those bounds that you've programmed, it just stops. Um, so I'm going to try that one more time and we'll see if we can get it. Okay, so there you go. Uh, what it does is it'll go up to the top. It hits a bumper and then it slowly moves the other other three, uh, moves them up, all three up to the top so that you're at home position. So now we have confirmed that our hot end works. We've confirmed that our motors are behaving as expected for what we want right now. And so the only thing left to do is start building the frame.